the continuation of the round. On seeing a form with the eye, he lusts after it as if it is pleasing. He delights in it as if it is unpleasing. He dislikes it if it is unpleasing, sorry. He abides with mindfulness of the body unestablished with a limited mind, and he does not understand as it actually is the deliverance of his mind and deliverance by wisdom, wherein those evil unwholesome states will cease without remainder. Engaged as he is in favoring and opposing whatever feeling he feels, whether it is pleasant or painful or neither pleasant nor painful, he delights in that feeling. He welcomes it and remains holding to it, clinging, okay? As he does so, delight arises in him. Now delight in feelings is clinging. The story's about why you like it. And with his clinging as condition, being comes to be. We say habitual tendencies for reactions come to be. And with these habitual tendencies as condition, the birth, with birth as condition, aging and death, sorrow, lamentation, pain, grief, and despair come to be. And such is the origin of the whole mass of the suffering. On hearing a sound with the ear, the same happens as well. Or smelling the odor with the nose, or tasting a flavor with the tongue, or touching a tangible with the body. Or cognizing a mind object with his mind, he or she lusts after it if it is pleasing, and dislikes it if it is unpleasing. Now delight in that feeling is clinging. And with a clinging as condition, habitual tendency comes to be, the bawa. With being as condition, birth appears, and with birth as condition, aging and death, sorrow, lamentation, pain, grief, and despair come to be. Such is the origin of this whole mass of suffering. <laughs>